to my channel. So today I'm gonna do this holiday slash glam look. Um, kind of glittery gold eyes and a red lip. I'm not used to the red lip, um, it's not really my cup of tea, but I thought, hey, it's for a holiday look, right? So let me just try red. If you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I've already done my eyebrows as well as one of the eyes, so we'll go ahead and move on to this eye. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first is apply a base. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in shade 10. And we're gonna use that as the primer, I guess, for your eyeshadow. So I'll apply that all over the lid, like so. And then I'm gonna take a damp sponge. This is a little one that I got from Marshalls. It was like a three pack of three. Um, and I'm just gonna use that to blend out the concealer on my eyelid. Now that I've primed my lid, I'm going to go ahead and take Milani and Bella White. And this is just an eyeshadow, a white eyeshadow. You can use like a setting powder or just any powder that is like a cream um, color or white like this. And that's just going to, we're going to use that to set our concealer so it doesn't crease. Doing this step is very important because not only is it going to be a base for our eyeshadow, but it's also going to help those eyeshadows blend nice and easily into the lid. So definitely, um, definitely prep your eye for the uh, for eyeshadow. I am using the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. We'll go ahead and take this side right here, not the glitter side, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the lid area um, as my base. So we're gonna go ahead and take this brown shadow right here and that's the color that I'm gonna initially start off with and apply it like so. Go ahead and take the Morphe M Morphe M441 brush. It looks like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap out the axis and apply that to the crease area as well. And here I'm just doing like circular motions um, just to blend that in. You want to make sure that you blend these colors. I apply shadow, blend, apply until I get that consistency that I want and bring it back and forward as well. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the Luxie 227 blending brush. It looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade here as well as that shade right there. And tap the excess out and I'm gonna go ahead and focus uh, more on the inner corner of this part of my eye. take this shadow here just a tad tap it off and apply it directly in that inner corner right there without going um, farther up this way Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Morphe E17 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and take this brown shade here tap off the excess and excess and also apply it in that inner corner of the eye in with the Morphe M4, M441 brush without any product. I know it's a little bit dirty, um, but it doesn't have any extra product. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend out that top area of the eye just to give it more of a smoother look. We're gonna go ahead and go back with the Morphe E17 brush, and we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the NYX Avent Pop eyeshadow palette 
this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this BH Cosmetics 103 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and take this black eyeshadow here and I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply that to the inner uh, part of the eye as well. Go ahead and go back in with the Luxie 227 blending brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here and apply that to that uh, to this inner corner of the eye just to kind of blend that out. And back with the Morphe M441 brush, just gonna go over that and blend it out. And back with that Avant Pop Palette, I'm going to go ahead and take that black shade again with the BH Cosmetics 103 brush, tap the X's out and kind of go over that black just to intensify it a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade here as well as this shade together mixed. I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe M443 brush as well, kind of go over this inner corner again. with the Morphe M441 brush and go back and blend that out. And just back with that purpley shade right here and a little bit of the brown. Tap off the excess and just kind of go over this side again. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with the Revlon Photo Ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take the glitter side. Ooh, glitter. Kinda looks like that. And this is actually the first time that I'm using it. I saw Amy Sanchez um, using this in her Snapchat and her look came out a bomb as So I'll definitely let you guys know how I like this. So far, it looks pretty good to me. That I'm gonna go ahead and get that, uh, take that black shadow again from the NYX Avant Avant Pop Palette, and take that black shade again, and just uh, remove the excess, and just kind of go over that area again at the inner corner of the eye, very gently. And I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe M433 brush just to blend out that black that I just applied. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the Wet n Wild Full Crown. It's a eyeliner, black eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the upper line of my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation, the rest of my face, and yeah.
the completed look. I hope you guys like it. Um, the red lip is definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought, hey, what the hell, you know, let me give it a try since it is a holiday look. Let me know what you guys think um, down in the comment section. Also, let me know what you want to see next. And yeah, so that is it, lovely people. So thank you for watching again.